Didi TV KPM. Welcome back to Didi TV KPM. And now Puan Norainun gonna share with us the tips to answer section B, right? Yes. Over to you. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Okay, student, are you okay? So shall we start with the section B? Okay, now I will show you some tips and strategies in answering section B. All right. So for section B, okay, the question will be long question. Usually, scenario will be given uh, because uh, student will be tested how to analyze question, how to synthesize and apply. So they will be given a scenario. Okay. So when they give scenario, please sketch. Okay. You sketch on your paper. Okay. The sample answers and then. Choose wisely which one to answer question number six or question number seven. Don't answer both. If you answer both, what happen? Only the first one will be marked. So you're wasting time. Mm -hmm. All right. And then avoid making mistakes. So student lose mark if they miss out any steps or notes. Usually this one uh, for drawing. Okay. okay. Student might miss uh, marks there. Okay. So I continue. Tips for SQL. So I focus on SQL, uh, the query language. Okay. So before you write the query language, look at the question. Uh, they will give you attribute name. So if you want to answer, please use the name given. Don't simply change what given in the question. So you must use 100% what given in the question. And then tips number two, make sure you select the correct attribute for display uh, and condition. Okay, and then the number three, make sure okay, when you write the coding, uh, form, from, sorry, from, where, order by are used in correct sequence. Okay, meaning uh, you write from first and then followed by where and then followed by order by. Okay, if you change the order, so it will be syntax error. And then uh, make sure to write codes okay, uh, for certain data type. Usually, the codes will be written for variable char or char. If your data is integer type, don't write in codes. It's wrong. Okay. And then finally is you must write semicolon at the end of your command. Don't forget. Okay, next. Okay, let's look at the question. The following relational schema indicates the number of assignment that has to be submitted by student in particular term. So you are given three relational schema. Okay, the first one is assignment followed by the attributes. Okay, and they underline the assignment number to show that that is the primary key. And then student, student number is the primary key. And then submit, uh, we have two foreign key there, assignment number and student number followed by total hour. So you have to, uh, this is the question. Okay, so they are asking from this situation given, okay, they are asking for create a view, a name good assignment for assignment with more than 500 words. Okay. So what they want actually, they want you to create view, okay, and the name of the view is good assignment. And what is the condition? The condition is the word count must be uh, more than 500 words, seven marks given, a lot. Okay, so make sure you write in correct syntax to get all seven marks. Okay, next, uh, list student name in order of youngest to the eldest. Okay, so they indirectly they ask you to sort the data. Okay, sort the student's name according to their date of birth. Okay, so here they uh, they are uh, testing your knowledge how you use the condition. Okay, must given five, and then the last one is erase the record on student which the student number is zero zero one two. Okay, so how to answer this? The first one. Okay, so here I use a different uh, font to show that that is the command. Lah. Okay, create view is a reserved word, followed by good assignment is the name Thank given you. in the question, and then S is a reserved word. Okay, so next line. Okay, it's okay if you write here, but it is neat if you write next line. 
select star stands for all select all because in the question they did not state which attribute to list so we mm. understood that select all okay from assignment where so this is the condition uh, assignment would count more than 5000 and with semicolon that's it seven mark for this a lot. looks simple but <laughs> a lot yeah okay it's quite heavy uh, yes so they have to practice they must okay. practice so that it will be easy for them all right okay next question asking for uh, sort the data according to date of birth uh, so select okay they're asking for name so select name from student order by okay so this is uh, student must know what to use okay to sort so order by order by which uh, attribute order by student date of birth okay next challenge is it ascending or descending because ah, question asking you arrange the data to from youngest to, to eldest, eldest. so see. maybe student might write ascending mm. because youngest to eldest are ascending right but yeah. according to date of birth the year oh the latest year that is the tricky part yes <laughs> tricky part yes Okay, so student, please read the question carefully. I see. Okay, next. This is easy. Okay, to delete. Uh, just delete from the table student where the student number 0012. Alright. Okay. And with semicolon. That's all. Okay, now. Normalization. This is quite challenging. Normalization. Tips for normalization. Okay, so you have to normalize relation given. Analyze the relation given by looking at the data in the table. Okay, so usually you will be given in table form. If you are not given in table form, you might be given in relational schema. Either one, in table or relational schema. Okay, so if given in the table form, just analyze the table and then evaluate if there are any repeating groups to determine which normal form is that relation uh, currently is. Okay, if the relation is in uh, not for normalized yet, okay, we call it zero normal form, or if it is in first normal form, uh, second normal form, or third normal form. Because in each normal form, there will be condition. If it fulfills that condition, then you say, okay, this relation is in second normal form because blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then the third one, determine the function dependency. So there are three function dependency, full, partial, and transitive. Functional dependency means you have to write the primary key, followed by arrow, followed by the attribute. That is functional dependency. And then step number four, functional normalization, the relation given until all the attributes fully depend on primary key and no repeating group exists in each normal form write the complete schema this is important because uh, student might miss this they don't write the schema okay so this is very important in each normal form write the complete schema and then if there is no change of schema for relation from the previous normal form rewrite the same schema to the new normal form this is very important number five and number six is important Okay, let's look at this example. You are given a table and then you analyze the table. So, repeating group means in one cell must have only one data. If you have two or three data, means repeating. So, in this table, uh, data, database designer analy analyzed the data and found out the most appropriate primary key comprising the student ID and uh, subject code so they give some information and then question asking for full functional dependency partial functional dependency and transitive dependency okay so how to write dependency i told you just now okay our uh, number two normalize okay after you identify the dependency you normalize uh, to third normal form okay so the suggested answer for full functional dependency, you must make sure all the attributes fully depend on its primary key. 
Okay, so the answer is student ID and subject code. Both are primary key where grade is fully depends on them. So this is functional, full functional dependency. For the second one, partial. Partial means half-half. Half depends on the first primary key. Another half depends on another primary key. So we have two. Okay, so student ID, uh, student name, class, uh, student guard, and guard telephone number are depends on student ID. Subject and teacher are depend on subject code. Uh, so this is partial dependency. Okay, for the third one, transitive dependency means uh, both must be attribute. Both attribute depends on each other. Okay, it's not depending on primary key, it's depending on each other. So cannot. So this is the answer. Okay. Telephone, guard telephone depends on student guard. So, uh, telephone will exist when the student guard exists. All right. Uh, the next one, uh, you have to write relation. Okay, so you have to write uh, the reason. Relation student guard is in first normal form because no repeating group. Okay, next, in second normal form, Relation student guide is not in second normal form because partial dependency exists. So you rewrite from the functional dependency in previous question, you write in relational schema. Then you get this. Okay? And then for third normal form, uh, relation subject and result are in third normal form. Okay? Subject and result are already in third normal form. But Student is not in third normal form. So you have to uh, remove the third normal form, remove the transity dependency for only student relation. The rest two don't do anything. It's already in third normal form. So after you do the uh, remove the transitive dependency, then you get the one. And then you cannot use student relation name. You must rename it. So I put student one. Cannot use the same name. Okay, so student one, I take out the guard telephone and guard student guard, so it will be in different relation. Okay, and these two copy back, just copy back. Okay, if you like miss out this one, then you lose mark. <laughs> That's why I highlighted here. No, if no change, just rewrite. Okay, and then for ER diagram, uh, describe the notation. This is uh, usually. Uh, common mistake done by students. Okay, they will mix up with these two notation, Chen and Crowfoot. They will mix up. They will use both. Cannot. You just choose one. Which one you want? Chen or Crowfoot? Determine. Okay, and then use the correct symbol for the notation. Name the entity and its attribute correctly. State the primary key by using underline and label each relationship using work. Okay, relationship must be work one single word if possible don't write in sentence wrong okay so this is the question given uh, you read okay you can see actually the follow the the what uh, the uh, what i say the situation there the scenario there okay from here you write the er diagram okay so question asking for entities and attribute relationship and cardinality and primary key, all 15 marks for section B. Okay, so easy to get mark actually. You cannot get zero here. Easy to get mark. All right, so first, okay, in the question, they said product made up of component. So you draw first the ER diagram. Remember, your ER diagram must be from left to right top to bottom. Okay, you cannot read from bottom to up. It's wrong. You read left to right. Okay, after that, we have another relationship. Okay, uh, after you draw the ER diagram for the first part, you put the uh, cardinality. Okay, so I put one comma n. So here I use chain notation. Okay, I use chain. Okay, one comma n. Okay, this one, when we read, each component is used for one or many product. How to read this ER diagram? 
So how I get this actually is in the question. I just extract. Okay, each component is used for one or more product, and then this one, the product are made up of many components. Okay, so the cardinality is that one. Supplier supply component. So each supplier could supply only one or one or any component, many components, sorry, many. And then the components are supplied by one or more suppliers. So the cardinality will be like this. And then finally, then only you write the attributes so that it won't be messy. Mm. Okay. So this is the suggested answer. Okay, uh, for attribute, you put three or four attribute enough. Okay, if you put a lot, it will be messy. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so that's all I could share with you. Uh, tips for section B. Thank you very much, Puan Norainu, for sharing us the tips to, uh, to answer the question in section B. Let's take a break and come back soon to DD TV KPM. DD TV KPM.